Hello, everybody. Welcome to day six of Be a Builder. As you know, we are going step by step to build an app from start to finish. Join us every morning at 10 a.m. Pacific time to watch a new video, then share your progress on Twitter and get a chance to win fun prizes. All right, so for day five, we learned how to build formulas and validations to ensure our app gets fed the accurate right data it needs. For day six, we're gonna learn about making our app secure and available to only those that really need access. Because a big part of maintaining a secure org is being strict about those permissions. So let's go chat with Leanne to learn how best to do that. Now that we've built our custom app, we're ready to talk about defining the user level access for this app. So first, we wanna think about who will be accessing this app. Well, first we have our project users. So these are the project managers that we've been building this app for primarily. We also have sales users that we've mentioned previously. So these are users that are already in our environment and they're using the standard sales app. I also wanna define what we're providing access to. So the core app that we've been working on is our project app and data. So we're going to add that here to the what column. Now, how should we provide project users access? We want to provide them full access to the project app and data, and that's their primary role. So we're going to do that with a custom profile that has full access to the project app and data. However, we also have our sales users, and they're also accessing a sales app. They already have a profile assigned to that sales app for a sales user profile. And we don't want to change that profile. So in order to give them access to the project app and data, we're going to create a new permission set that we can add in addition to the profile. And this permission set is going to be a view only permission set. So let's take a look at how we do this. First, I have my users. I have my project manager users, my sales user, and I want to start by creating that custom profile. So I go to new custom profile and we're going to call it custom project manager. And I have to pick a profile to clone from in order to inherit those initial settings. So I'm going to clone it from that sales profile. Now I'm going to edit this profile. Now profiles are assigned to a user. Every user only has one profile. And this is where we can define things like the default app. And also within the profile, we can assign the app access and the individual object access. So we want our project users to have full access to the project objects in order to read, create, edit, all of the different. Profiles is also where we can define our password policies and settings for our users. So once I save this custom profile, I can see if there's any users assigned to it. Well, we just created this profile, so we don't have any users currently assigned. So if we go to our users part of setup, I can edit our Pamela project manager user and assign her to this new custom project manager profile. Now, if we flip over and log in as Pamela project manager, we can see her default app experience is project central and she has full access to the projects tab and object and she has edit access to projects as well. So great, we set up access for Pamela. Now let's take a look at how we add additional layers of access to other types of users like Cynthia Sales. Cynthia Sales already has a custom sales profile assigned to her. So what we want to do is actually add an additional layer of access with a permission set. We're gonna call this project viewer and within Project Viewer, we can define our object settings. So we want to define what type of access Cynthia has to the project object. Now, Project Viewer is just that. It's a view-only access for projects. So on projects, we can edit that CRUD-level detail and say visible and read-only and view all because our, our sales users need to be able to view projects, but they don't need to be able to edit them and they can read all of these relevant fields, perfect. Now we also wanna give her access to that Project Central app that we created in the App Launcher. And we do that in the permission set by going to Assigned Apps and adding access for that Project Central app. So permission sets are a great way to add additional layers of access and functionality for different users when you don't wanna adjust their profiles. 
Now, when we flip over to test our login as our sales user, her default app is sales because that's how it's defined on her profile. But when she goes into the accounts tab and views an account, because she now has view access to projects, because of that permission set, she can see projects on the related list of her account. And in the app launcher, this user does have access to the Project Central app that we created and can go in and view projects, although can't edit them. So that's how we can use permission sets and profiles to define different levels of access for our custom apps. Back to you, Rebecca. Thanks, Liam, for breaking down user permissions. Looks like we have a lot of control over who can access our app and how. To summarize, we now know it's really important to think through user access to our app. We can create custom profiles to define app access for our main project users. And we can also create permission sets to add app access to other types of users, like our sales users. So now it's your turn. Create a custom profile or permission set for your app and assign it to someone. Learn more about defining permissions and ensuring the security of your org by completing the Security Basics module on Trailhead. I highly recommend you do so because, ding, 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 this badge is also a prerequisite for the App Customization Specialist Super Badge. With that, join us tomorrow at 10 a.m. Pacific Time to learn how to add automation to our app so that we can make business processes even more seamless.